Here's my sock water rank. Still work in progress, but whatever. Finally got its first breeding inhabitants besides the blue glars. I've got a male celestial pearl dano in here, so this is going to be a part two to breeding those. And two females in here. Here's the Glaris trio. See them looking good. Like, oh, what's going on? Anyways, let's see the females are back there and I just kept them separated overnight just to kind of fatten them females up there's a lot of uh, small microorganisms in this tank from plants breaking down and all that so these celestial pearl danios have 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 have, 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 have eaten them up quite a bit and been getting fat on them so hopefully they'll start throwing some eggs into this container and collect and see what I can get out of it. But yeah, see like there's a little larva. I'm not quite sure exactly what that is. See, there's one. It's almost like mosquito larvae. I haven't seen any in here. I'm not sure, but the celestial pearl dingoes have really been going to town on them. I'll get some eggs. Now, I've taken some footage of these guys breeding, doing the wild thing, and actually laying eggs and all that. I've got a couple of views for you guys, so sit back and enjoy. Hope you like. they've spawned what I've done is taken out all the moss and algae and whatnot and left over I have some eggs here which you can see there and there 
As far as the water parameters, I'm breeding them in softer water. It's under 200 TDS, usually between 1 and 200. I haven't got an exact measurement. I know it's somewhere in between there. As far as TDS or pH, I don't even bother with it. I know the pH is probably a lot higher since I've got an air stone in there. But here you can see some eggs floating around after I poured the container into the egg's new home and where the fry are going to grow up. Now as you can see, this isn't the cleanest tank and I actually did that on purpose. I chose one of the dirtiest soft water tanks that I had. And the main reason for this is there's a lot of microorganisms, microscopic algae, and just little things that the fry can grow up and eat on. Especially, I'm guessing they're going to be, well, I know they're going to be very tiny fry. They're going to need single cell food. Here you can see some eggs resting on the subwasser tank. Now this was from the first day and this is from the second day and they hatch in about 48 hours and didn't really take them very long. You can see them developed a little bit but it's, it's kinda amazing how quick they actually develop. I went ahead and threw some more eggs in the next day after gathering some because my plan is to just keep gathering them and chucking them in there and letting them grow up. Now you can see some fry finally hatched out. Once again about 48 hours later. I mean sometimes it may take them a little longer than 48 hours. Nature is not exact. Mother Nature will never be exact. But there you can see some more fry. And when they're first hatching out, they tend to stick on the glass like that before they actually come free swimming around the tank. Which I noticed it took them about a day to really start swimming in the middle of the water and whatnot. Here you can see more fry just sticking everywhere. These are all just from the first batch I threw in there. And finally swimming. Like I said, that was about a day after the eggs hatched and they finally got off the wall. But yeah, that's how you breed celestial pearl danios. Now I've got some bonus footage of you for you guys as well that I made that shows um, actual fry being collected when I tried to collect eggs later on too. So now I'm not just collecting eggs but eggs that are still left in the algae and moss that I haven't gotten to. They have been ended up hatching fry and as well without the parents eating them because they have the coverage of the moss and the algae which you will be able to see a lot more of that coming up soon and here you can see this is some green water I have next to it and I've actually been pouring some of that green water in here because I know that's a another treat for them, something to eat. Here's the footage of the fry and the eggs in the container as I was talking about. But yeah, this is how you breed celestial pearl danios. And I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys liked it. And peace. As you can see, there's tons of babies now.